ping in, ping in the Discord. This is a challenge to get set up. Make sure if you guys can see me and you can hear me, that it sounds okay and that it looks okay because I had to, I had to change some things around. We got, uh, we got Thrustmaster later. Overlay is right here. Overlay is looking fine, but I had to do everything on, on one computer. That does look neat though. You have to admit that does look neat the way they have that set up. We, I think we only need that for uh, for the rise section of the game. But this is a sponsored stream. My lap is missing from earlier. This is what they wanted to use. Uh, the stream is sponsored by the uh, Thrustmaster eSwap X Pro controller. The guy right here. I love this thing. I use this. I use this every single time. It's an Xbox controller. Wherever an Xbox controller works, I use it. Little back button back there. We'll do a we'll do a longer shill later on. But um, yeah. Thank you, Thrustmaster. We're gonna do some uh, unite to start. We're probably gonna do this for about two hours, and we'll switch over to rise. We'll do that for like two hours. Small mage, hello. Any midnight mac and cheeses lately? Ryax, hello. Speaking of midnight mac and cheese, I got the ingredients for a a killer chili cheese tot. We'll call it a casserole. I don't know if it's really a casserole or not. This is the Thrustmaster Day. Yeah, 100% Thrustmaster Day. So, I got the most generic beanless meat only chili possible because for some reason I just feel like if you're eating tots you just want to have tot and meat chili midnight ramen's pretty good too and then I got a whole package I, I have cheddar I like cheddar I think it should be fine uh, if I really looked I probably would have gotten like the Velveeta cheese and, uh, I could probably put a layer of sour cream in there. I didn't, though. I'll, I'll put it on the side, and I'll probably chop up an onion, too. Just so there's, like, an actual vegetable. I know, I mean, potato's a vegetable, right? You're addicted to Freedom Unite. It's a fun game, isn't it? By the way, please tell me if the audio levels sound okay. I completely... I had to change around a lot of stuff. So if I'm quiet, the game is loud, uh, you're not seeing enough of my body, you're seeing too much of my body. Happy Bappy Shoe? Thank you. A little late, but thank you. Close enough, right? Seem fine? Thank you. You're never seeing enough of my body. Just go full body. Full body shepherd. What in my farm recently? Show waist down. I'm only wearing tights. I don't think it's TOS, but <laughs> I mean, talking about himbo streamers, it would, uh, it would get me called out. Am I taller than five foot four? I mean, on the internet, if you're under six feet tall, you may as well be four foot ten, right? Do you have a uh, an issue with short people? I have nice shoulders. Thank you, small baby. I should watch the exercise anime. I thought I saw like a clip of that the other day. Girls like lifting weights, stuff like that. 
It's a national holiday. Interesting. I'm pretty sure when I met Oz, we were literally the same height. But to be fair, I think he was in high school or early in college. So maybe he maybe he grew an extra couple of, uh, inches. Why are we streaming in the Rise category? This is Monster Hunter Rise. We will legitimately be playing Monster Hunter Rise later. We really, really will. Small but strong. I mean, I feel like look, I'm not I'm not five foot four. But even if I was, like, you can't control your height unless you get like like leg extension surgery. You're about five five. Like what do you like what like what are you gonna do? High heels? Okay. I do think they should get rid I mean, I I'm not going to go on this rant again, but they really should reduce the number of categories. Doesn't really... Doesn't really help anyone. So... I think I wanted to upgrade my longsword. As much as I enjoy the hammer, I'm trying to use this when I can. So I'm probably going to have to kill... So Black Rajang Pelt Plus. That's probably high rank Rajang. And then Heavy Rajang Fang. I mean, that's obviously... That's G rank. Let's try it. I'm mildly concerned. Majorly concerned? Yeah, Pella Amenoblos is so good. Hi. Rajang. Two Rajang. Final invitation. Like, this was the quest, man. It's like, you gotta get them. You gotta be fast. Because the, the, the big one shows up like 10 minutes in. Kinez is hello. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. I feel like we have the damage for it. I don't really know. Let's put the shock trap away. Let's let's try. Let's let's do pitfalls. I get very confused. I, I I'm not sure if they flip their trap weaknesses or not in this game. People seem excited to play Rise. Well, there's a lot of people that, you know, really avoided it when it was on the Switch or didn't get a chance to play. You know, that sort of stuff that's going to be in infectious. It's not like, you know, if for all the complaints of the end game, like, that doesn't change the fact that the demo is going to be a lot of fun. Do I eat, sleep, and breathe Monster Hunter? I really like this game. <laughs> I still like this game. I don't know. You ever ask Tyler1 if he eats, breathes, and sleeps League of Legends? I guess he probably does. I remember for a while he was banned from League of Legends. And he just kept playing, like, he would, he would, he would stream whatever, and then when he wasn't streaming, he was just playing League of Legends. I can kind of, I get that. I have to do yard work? Good luck. How many monsters are missing? I think we are missing Rajang, so this is actually, like, necessary. In a way, this is, like... There's kind of a subspecies, right? We might have to add a line for Gold Pelt Rajang. I don't really know. He doesn't really have a name. Super Saiyan Rajang? I don't really know. Um, I usually end up playing Monster Hunter off-stream. If I'm like watching a streamer or something, and I think it would be fun to join them. Or um, after like a big major release. I mean, usually after eight hours of Monster Hunter in a day, I'm pretty okay. I mean, I might be doing some things. Oh, that map's really going to help. 
um, you know, testing stuff out and things like that. But I'm like not like sitting down and playing and grinding a lot off stream. Yeah, I mean, there's just like so, you know, it's like it's like it's like enough. It's enough monster. Oh, I don't need this antidote. Whatever. All right, buddy. So that's not a gold pellet one. That's a normal one. Mining runs and rise. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's right after release. And they're like, and honestly, I probably will do mining runs in Rise PC after it comes out. Because, like, I don't, I don't really want to do a lot of that on screen because that's, like, boring. Oh, shoot. We're just warming up. This is the two Rajang uh, guild quest. I prowl people streaming Monster and Dab on the mid-game. I mean, I still... That was embarrassing, by the way. I still genuinely enjoy playing, like, Monster Hunter. Like, that multiplayer experience is great. Like, if somebody's struggling, like, it's fun to pop in and help them out. Like, I'm not like, it's me, SD Shepard, number 3066 streamer, here to save the day. You know, I just join them. Like, they don't, they don't necessarily know who I am. That was, like, that was just dead, though. You don't feel burnout? No, it's actually, it's really weird. So... This probably sounds like Stockholm Syndrome or, or stuff like that. But I enjoy Monster Hunter so much. It sometimes makes it difficult to play other games when they are not as balanced and tight of a gameplay experience as Monster Hunter. Because I'm like, well, I'd just rather be playing Monster Hunter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I would rather just be playing, like, a good game, not, like, a bad game. So you would think you'd be burnt out. But really, really no. If I ever felt like I like I was like I stopped learning, like I, I had ascended to like a higher plane of existence and I was like perfect with every weapon against every monster in every way, fine. But I honestly don't think I can do that in this lifetime. Like I just don't think it'll ever happen. So. What's your opinion on the dose systems? Uh, needlessly complex, but I mean, experimenting is always fun. I I'm generally happy when the developers try something new, even if it doesn't pay off. Is this G-ranging? Absolutely. You put thousands of hours in the game, you just can't play careers worth of time. I mean. You gotta remember, like, Twitch streaming isn't... I was talking to my, my sister-in-law yesterday. She was talking to my wife. I, I talked to, was talking to her. And the topic of streaming came up. And she's like, eh, how do you not get sick of staring at the screen every day? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm playing a video game. But but streaming isn't... I mean, yes, you, you, you play the game, streamer. <laughs> but it's, it's really, like, I think of it more of, like, you know, doing, like, a radio show or, or something else like that than I do playing a video game. Sometimes the game's the content. And good content for your video game is excellent, you know, as a backdrop for what you're talking and saying, but um, it's not it's not everything. In fact, I would argue it's one of the, the less important things as time goes on. Yeah, I mean, like a podcast. And, and obviously, I've got a lot of many years' experience of doing podcasts and stuff like that, so, you know, talking while playing a video game is was not anything foreign to me when I started doing this as a, as a stream rather than as an actual podcast. And because, you know, another thing to remember is there's a lot of people that treat a stream, you know, as like a radio program. Like a lot, there's, a, there's people in the chat right now who don't even have the window up that are just listening. To all those people, hello, I hope you're doing well. I just revealed my entire fully nude body and you missed it. So make sure to keep it up next time. Almost all office jobs are staring at screens. Yeah, a lot of them are. I mean, certainly my last one was. You feel called out? You didn't, you beat? You, you would, wouldn't you? You would, wouldn't you?
Well, that, that would be that would be my advice, and th that's why when people start going out of like their quote unquote main game, they start doing variety. It suffers sometimes. It's not necessarily because the variety is bad. It's just because like you stop talking because you don't want to die at the video game. The glorious, life-changing. Just done with your eager cleaver. Good luck. Oh God, damn it! <laughs> oh no, I didn't bring max potions. Okay, we're fine though. We're totally fine. Beatrix, hello. Well, we will not be fine. We've got six minutes. That's six minutes to kill a Rajang. That's fine. We could do that. You stay quiet when playing the game? Well, yeah. <laughs> a little taste of the thunder. I mean, the hitbox was fine. Honestly, like, in, in the older games, at least this game in particular, like, you gotta give yourself, like, an extra, an extra step sometimes with hitboxes. Because it's like a little, they're like little refrigerators running over. That was ambitious. Bold. You gotta remember, like, people have done this quest naked. I guess I haven't done it naked, but it's like... I forgot he pounded at the end there. Good morning, Descentus. Hey, yeah, sorry for the late start, guys. I have... I had to do a lot of things to get the stream set up today. I, we, we do have the Thrustmaster sponsorship today, and that took some work, but honestly, that, that only took like five or 10 minutes. Getting the Rise PC demo to actually function properly was, I don't use the word ordeal, but there's some very scuffed things going on with people that have like more than one monitor plugged in, which to me, I feel like nowadays that would be most people. I mean, how many people are on a PC outside of a laptop and have only one monitor plugged in? Yours won't load at all? Mine loaded up, but it was playing at five frames per second. And it, like, wouldn't respond to any input. It was rough. I'm getting, like, really greedy here. I should stop doing that. Once I got it to run once, it feels like it's okay. Don't do it, don't do it. You want a third monitor? I would actually genuinely enjoy a third monitor. I just don't know where I would put it in the setup. My upgrade sword now? Yeah, we switched to long sword in G-Rank. Uh, only because like we we just done so much great sword. We actually we have a hammer too. Not that I really like hammer on. Okay. Second Jang, we have three minutes to go. Right, I'm gonna start paying up. I'm gonna start paying up. Are redeems working? No. Sounded like it. Is that the Rajang Longsword? No, that is the Copper Blaganga Longsword. What time zone? Directly under my nuts! Right under my nuts! How's that, uh, how are the audio levels? Look at it! I don't have the thing to break out the audio, hold on. How do I set it up? Why can't I see it? It's the monkey time! I'm going bananas! I know I could turn it down a little bit. It's actually very large among goblins, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm turning it down to 80%. 
And then maybe we'll mute it later on. Oh, speaking of Skullhead. Uh, I want to upgrade my armor. It's coming in four hours! What is possibly debatable about that? Four hours! Nuts. Oh, I guess I can't upgrade it. You're getting one shot if you use bow and rajang? Yeah, that'll happen. And this is brutal. If I wasn't in such a rush, it wouldn't be that bad. But, like, you have to really hurry. Like, you don't, you don't want two rajangs running around. hit zones on his back legs anyways that's probably okay bring smoke bombs I don't even know I don't even remember how well smoke bombs even worked in this game relative to the newer games honestly once the second Rajang shows up um, he'll probably this is the wrong one <laughs> That is not the right quest. That is not the one I wanted to do. Out. That's a great start to the morning. How long has it been? 20 minutes? Cool. Great. How's life going today? Uh, I was freaking out because... The Rise demo wasn't working, but if anything, I'm glad because now it's like presumably somebody over at Capcom will be able to troubleshoot out why it, it wasn't, why it wasn't working right. That was slightly cowardly? Dude, there's no... I'm, pr as of present, currently struggling against one baby G-Rank Rajang. New Bloons boss one. We have time for a little bit of variety once we finish Freedom Unite. Lance, an auto guard talisman? Is there an auto guard talisman in this game? There are no talismans in this game. What? No, I'm not a bed boy. Stop! All this time wasted. Summer looks sick. What is it? Mostly crab. High rank crab, chest and arms, Terra Shogun, Sienitar, Cassette and legs, and something called the Skull Helm. I kind of hate it. Has Rajang's head always been a weak spot? Really, his whole body takes pretty good damage. the arms even with the fade slash we can get out of the way in time look at that damage so he's being very generous shooting his beams letting me heal
Funny thing with old school longsword is in some situations, like, you kind of treat it like crit draw greatsword. Like, the overhead slash is obviously not nearly as strong as the overhead slash from a greatsword. But it's still not bad. It's still like 30% or so, I think, motion value. Problem with old school longsword, it doesn't have three counters. Doesn't even have one counter. You call that a longsword? Oh no! his tail is before he's in rage. Actually, I don't even know if it really changes much. And a longsword? I think there were extra small longswords in Frontier. That makes you feel better. Pretty sure that was it. That's, a, that's upset. That's shameful. Oh my god. The double left into dying? So bad. I wish my longsword was a little longer too. I'm not worried though. This, this quest has been, this is going better than the last time. And again, like we're only dying because like we're getting a little greedy. Disgusting turbo PM streamer. I'm excited. There's already a new guy in my, like, conversations, so. They're, like, a real company. Hey, yeah, at the very least, switching everything over got your deems to work out. A new streamer? He's not a new streamer, no. He, wor he works for the company that manages streamers. Can't, Capcom can't ignore me anymore. I got an email with uh, a key for the Rise demo at like 6 p.m. Eastern time. Like what, seven or eight hours after the game already started streaming? <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks. It's like, it's like you expect like one of those like, sorry I forgot your birthdays cards. than my streamer number. I think it, it really comes down to like, they just, they care a lot more about YouTube than they care about, which which is funny because like, I still have a YouTube. Like my, my YouTube was, was very active during Rise. Uh, as far as I know, Fire Cannon, my email has not changed. They haven't told me to update it yet, but that's actually a good question. Yeah, alright, so I didn't make content, like, a lot of content in the last two or three months. I was making, like, daily videos on Rise when it was out. I'm releasing as much content as Rise is right now on the Switch. But you don't like your paid DLC stickers? Locked up YouTuber. Ooh. 
People complain about the hitboxes in this game, but that was actually pretty okay. We get the turbo copium emote. I like, I like, I mean, it's like a couple different companies because then it, it belongs to like a larger media company. I, I really don't fully understand the full global network. All I know is it changed from a guy that did Dark Souls speedrun tournaments to like a massive industry. Just repost the old Rise vids. No one will ever know. Guys, I got Monster Hunter Rise working on a five-year-old Android tablet. <laughs> Check it out. Look how good it looks on my five-year-old Android-based tablet. You wouldn't even believe it. People are all, People love that sort of stuff. Come on. I mean, I know I was in your Grendel. Repost frame counting video? I am not counting frames when I have to, well, this, the process is really pretty much the same, I guess. If you're running at 120 FPS, you just start at the beginning and then go to the end. But right now, we're sponsored by Thrustmaster. No competing controllers allowed. Thrustmaster, the only, the eSwap X Pro, the only controller guaranteed. You're not cheap. Uh, this is not, this is, what is this? This is Final Invitation, but it's the Guild one. It's got two Rajangs, the other one's showing up now. Daddy is now here. Yeah, he's, he's big. X-Swap has a very small dead zone. You need to recalibrate it. You could recalibrate it. Or I was checking the other day. You can get two new analog modules and a D-pad module for like $30. <laughs> it's like, it's really not that bad. They sent me a bunch. So like I already have like a whole, like a bucket full of them. No, I don't want to go there. God damn it. Send me yours then? If I left the house regularly, I would. They're not that large. I guess I kind of am leaving the house a little bit more now. Did Rise get a D-Make? Excuse me, this is like... He's so confused. He's like, where did he go? Okay, that's the one I wanted to hit. I, uh, I got tremored. Maybe I just gotta fight the normal one. Rise, Rajang needs 3x damage and he's fine. It's more his speed is too slow. This quest is so hard. Oh god, now I lost all my items.
Now, you, you really should have the first one dead before the second one shows up. Fine. Fine. We're going back to the baby one, though. I'm just going to do the solo one. I'm going to want to be at full power before I face those things again. getting pounded by double monkeys. Let's just see. Let's start with one monkey and then we will upgrade. I don't have enough money? Just like calling me poor. How sword and shield and rise? Good. If not, maybe a little boring. Everything revolves around you getting to the Reaping Slash for the most part. Which means most of your combos end up being centered around doing whatever you can to get to that one thing. And just the way that sharpness and everything else is balanced, you just end up you end up just doing a lot of the same combo over and over again. It's not very free flow. The only thing that really saves it is there's a really cool counter in the game as a switch skill. If it weren't for that skill, I would I would actually probably really, really dislike Sword and Shield. That skill saves it. How many monsters are left for me to complete this challenge? Well, just talking about Freedom Unite, maybe it's I think it's less than ten. Alright, so this is definitely a subspecies, right? I don't have paintballs. I took them all. Like, we would probably would call this, what, like, Golden Rajang? Why am I doing the Double Rajang quest? I need, um... I need Rajang. I mean, I don't mind doing Pierce. He's not, he can't be that much different than normal Roger, right? He's hitting about just as hard. God, he's large. I'm so dead. Ah! Why does the Magnamala one shot you? Oh! Card stream today. Use bow guns, give up. I will not. I will not. I refuse. Let's try the double one again. I honestly feel better with the double one. We just got feline defender high. That's like blessed. Mizu isn't that bad in the demo. You just have to get used to how they do, like, the flow. The flow of combat's a bit different. I really, I think Portable 3rd is maybe the most enjoyable hit effects, Metal Vines. All right. Double Rajang, come on. Come on, NA champ.
We're just running in. Eat the steak. Not gonna go to the box, not gonna go to the bed. What about the hit effects feel weak? I don't know, I think the elemental ones look great. That was an okay five seconds, followed by an absolutely horrible ten seconds. This is a G rank one. This is, this is the worst this stream has seen in Freedom Unite thus far. We're not going Bowgun! I'm not going to do it. I mean, the bow gun would do it easy. If his whole body is like weak to normal. Slam arise. I actually had some caffeinated gum earlier today. I was up really late last night playing Rune Factory. That's a fun game. I'm playing it on hard, and I guess there's like a hell difficulty. I can't even imagine how r rough that would be. Hard already requires some pretty serious amount of grinding. If I rolled forward, maybe that would have missed. Monsters. Oh, the monsters hate me <laughs> in Rune Factory. They're so mean. What armor skill do I have on? Uh, it's the equivalent of Critical Eye plus three, Razor Sharp, and Sharpness plus one. I'm annoyed that farm life games tell you to romance the kitty table as opposed to the grown up one. I don't know what that line means. I don't I don't know what you mean. I am excited though that apparently Rune Factory 5 is actually like not that far away. The bowgun is not coming. I promise you I'm not going bowgun. They like mommies and daddies. Oh, yes, it is 
very difficult to find any normal adult looking woman in the Fruit Factory games. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's what you mean. Yes. No, I would, I would like, um, I don't know. Is it like a, all right. So hold on. No spoilers of free. This is Freedom of Night. There's a character in Rune Factory 4 that is apparently like musically gifted that like plays an instrument and sings. But is it just me or is when that character, when she sings like the most ear grating thing I have ever heard? Like, is it a joke? Like, does she actually learn how to sing later on? Or is that supposed to sound good? Like, I don't, I don't mean to be a bully. I'm sorry if that any, that's anybody's like Rune Factory wife, but it's just like horrible. And like, I'm not musically talented at all, but I'm like, oh. Like when I see her like in town singing, I immediately run in the opposite direction because I don't want to hear the voice. <sighs> that would have hit it. Right? I don't musically hear. I mean, I'm I'm not saying I don't. I'm not saying I do. Where monkey hug goes to the monkey farm? Off. Excuse me? This is the run though. All right, we're sticking with this one. This one's been fine. This is G rank double monkey. That was that was a decent three minutes. We'll take that opener. I'm just going right back in. Not eating. I should probably eat meat. So once you beat G rank. You get the ability to like over upgrade some of your armor a bit more, and I think that helps out by quite a bit. Oh, are those the uh, shortcut weapons? Some of them was, some of those are actually kind of okay. I take that max potion now, once it gives me a chance. I do 
know how much life this guy has? Like, what am I dealing with? 5,000? A lot? <laughs> that doesn't help. Four thousand? That's actually not that bad. I don't really care about daddy. I just need to kill the baby. Where can you guys check the health? There's a um, there's a Game Facts document that went and cataloged all of the monsters' health, presumably with like an HP cheat or something like that. I don't think they, I don't think they tested it with rocks and kicks. And like most monster in the games, there's like a little natural variation. Dancing monkey. Can you imagine estimating health during a fight? I mean, if you recorded it and it was you poking things with a gun lance or um, shooting things with a gun lance, maybe. Yeah, Rajang is, is noticeably absent from third gen. I told you! I told you! Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to carve him. I need, I actually legitimately need the carves. Ugh! No, this is part of my plan. This is all I need. I need the pelts. Does he punch you in the pitfall trap here? Good thing I don't need the horn. I don't need the horn. What do I need the pelts for? The upgrade for this weapon needs the uh, pelts. I mean, I know the pelts stay around for a long time, but even still... If something happens... 
something unfortunate. God, he's large, huh? No. God, he gets crazy when he's flash. In multiplayer? I mean, I don't know. You know, Rajang belongs to the same class as like Tigrix, where it's like, you can flash him, but like, I'm sure it's a good idea. Uh, Takoda, Takuda is responsible for Rajang. I don't know if he's responsible for this quest. God, he's so much larger, it makes him so much more difficult to fight than the smaller one. Not really the angle I wanted to hit him in. I'm just gonna start healing now. Oh, he's in the chat. He's in the chat for a while, isn't he? Oh, I didn't even pick up the first aid med, so that feels bad. Let's get the arm once. We still have 10 Mega Potions. Like, we're actually doing really good damage to him. I know that sounds like a little like Copium, but...
Yeah, we're, we're on the last cart. Yeah, no, we, we uh, I, I deliberately use both carts. It, it adds a lot of tension to the quests. Was speeding in this game? I think so. A lot of really fun skills got added in Ghost. There's actually a lot of skills that, like, showed up in Unite and basically never came back. Auto reload. I didn't need E to sleep. Don't really want to end up without a stamina. That wasn't really an attack. Texas is down too. Ooh. Texas just took the full weight of that punch. All right. All right, Rod Jang. I'm ready. Circle left instead of right. Depends on how close you are, I guess. It's just sometimes that right hop gets you. I don't know. I guess it just really depends what when he wants to do it. Yeah, it's like it's like the range, isn't it, Juice? Which is why it gets a little confusing sometimes. It's really just that one charge that gets you. This is this is a special special Rajang. This quest spawns two Rajangs. One is very large. The other one is I don't even, I don't even know if it's a gold crown. To be honest with you, though, definitely a silver crown. One step closer to 3065. That was the one, Magic Turtle. You got us there. Thank you. Kind of want to sharpen. I don't really know when a good time for that is, though. Probably wait. Yeah, wait for him to de-enrage and then do like a laser or something. That felt very lucky. Ooh. I got way closer to his head there than I wanted to be. We are healing. This is the one? Oh. <laughs> it's going okay. Let's not get carried away, though. Waiting for a chance to heal again. I want to, I really want to be at full health. And my heart rate is up, though. We 
wait for the next enrage, we'll get another pitfall trap down. I swear this monkey. He's gonna eat the whole Kirin? Horse meat, man. Should not have done the fade slash. That was my mistake. Showed a little bit of mercy there. If he did his punch, he would have definitely gotten me again. I'd like to get my spirit up and then drop the Texas has really been a champ this run, hasn't he? I almost died to a monkey butt. <laughs> I was re remarkably close. He back hops out of that sometimes, so like I was a little concerned to go into the tail. Uh, just a big ape with horns on it. Such a simple design and yet so amazing. Thank you, Dead Roger. Roger and fill their spirit meter up. <laughs> There's one thing. Uh, Will Dota in the older games, you want to break both wings. 
Monkey child and monkey mom. Oh, speaking of which, I... I need to set up my, um... The checklist for you guys on this computer. I may not be able to show it. Uh, new. We'll update it tomorrow. <laughs> Let's just say the current setup is extremely scuffed. What quest I did since Tigrix? Tigrix is what we started with. We ended. We finished with Silver Rathalos, I think. That's a lot of pelts. I think I still need another Fang. I'm pretty sure I need another Fang. Oh, you also missed Yama. I think you missed Yama. Little monkey. I think we need to do it again. Let's, let's take a look. Yama was the urgent before? Oh, I don't know. I'll trust you guys. Oh, that's pain. Oh, that is such pain. Oh. <laughs> the nice thing is the hammer is actually really easy to upgrade. You can use bow guns now? It's okay. It's okay. I, I don't... That's not the path I'm gonna walk. Should have gone for the head, but not really. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I, I took pot shots at the head when I got a chance. Have I unlocked? I don't think I've really unlocked much of anything. We've done the bare minimum of going through this game. Get six fangs. It is like that sometimes. I really need to be using those life powders. We're like getting like so incredibly low. I mean, in terms of the Furious Rajang, like, I don't think you gotta do anything special to unlock it. Do Furious now to mix it up a bit? What are his drop rates for, um, for Fangs? I'm assuming they're okay. Eh, we got defense high. We do need to kill him eventually, right? Forty-two percent car. We'll give it a shot. If you thought I was cowardly before, though, woo! Yeah, fortunately, we don't need to uh, claw grip any more pants. We've got like reprogrammable controls. Thank God. Like, honestly, butt attacks only. Well, it doesn't have to be butt attacks only, but we really got to focus on the butt attacks. You helping moving down to the second monitor? As long as I don't crash your games, that's fine. Rise was crashing, like, ultra hard when I was trying to set up uh, the stream. It was insane. 
How's the stream going? Uh, we just had a major victory against a very challenging quest. And then hopefully we'll have another victory against another challenging quest. For some reason, this Furious Rajang, I can only remember, like, really wanting to beat him with Sword and Shield back in the day. And, like, going out of my way to make an Ice Sword and Shield. It seemed okay, but it also seemed really scary and difficult. Uh, I'm not, I'm not really sticking around with Greatsword. Like, I'm not, like, I, I'm planning, planning to finish the game with Gunlance, Longsword, and Hammer. Is Fatalis today? No. Well, almost definitely not. We, there's a bit of farming we need to do for our Gunlance armor set. Like, I'm, at least I'm planning on doing white Fatalis with, with the corn popper. Rajang? Hello? Is that him leaving Zo- ah! Why the corn popper? Uh, it's good. It's wide five. What is he doing? Gonna pick up Rise DLC for both PC and Switch? I'll probably pick up some music on the PC. So strong. Oh, maybe if I rolled left, I wouldn't have died. You played the raw small demo and you hated it, killed Motto just to say you did? What weapons you use? I mean, that's an accomplishment. Oh, wait, did I bring max potions? Hold on. I would have been fine not rolling. I don't know about that. You, you think I would have stayed under his butt? I mean, I wasn't really on his side. I was underneath him. Whatever. I don't know that gunpowder would be that effective on him. Hi. This would be the time to do the Rajen quest, or the uh, Gravios quest, but... I feel like sort of committed. Pro Cal, hello. The sword and shield feels a lot better when you get the counter ability, a counter switch skill. I feel like that skill is basically necessary for that weapon to feel really fun. I mean, it's just a good, it's a good ability in general, but it just, it, it has some very satisfying sound effects. Does he still have a 50% tail hit zone here, or because it's broken, does it take less damage? I should really have, like, 
game tax or whatever. Back up. Should be the same. You know they, they should have they should have thrown like a switch skill into the demo just so people like got an idea of what sort of things to expect because some of the weapons have like some kind of sort of oddball choices like I don't I don't think I agree with the switch skill set up on like the insect wave for example Like, apparently some people made some effective use of, like, Recall of Kinsect, but I switched off of that immediately and <laughs> literally never looked back as soon as I could in the main game. I mean, Greatsword, now that Rage Slash has been nerfed anyways, like, I don't know, who even cares? I hate to sound emo, but, like, what does it matter? L hello? Yeah, I don't know if I ever saw any um, Wyvern Ride less Insect Blade clears from Demo Maldo. Maybe. Maybe Pochi did one. Presumably somebody will try and patch Rage Slash back to its normal... pre nerf state once the full game is launched fire cannon anyways and like I feel that would be fair like there's like I just don't understand like I don't even understand what the bug was to begin with I think dual blades are fine as long as you're not doing like the quasi meta pop yourself up in the air and mash x <laughs> attack like if you play it differently it feels fine Everybody wants to do the attempts where they just constantly hump the monster's face. Yeah, so storing the damage is like, that's like a big deal. Like sometimes the timing is just not right. Can I, can I be a coward? The answer is absolutely. Of course I can. How far am I in Unite? Uh, I mean, this is uh, G3, so pretty far. Dual blades are too easy. Oh, doubly, thank you. Prime gaping sub, almost missed that, sorry. Uh, you're very welcome. I, I am enjoying them as much as they are. I'm a little stressed out with this raw gen, but I mean, I'll be okay. Feel like you do way more damage to sword and shield with way less risk? That is correct. You were correct in saying that. Element helps quite a bit, which we do not have access to in the in the demo. Oh god. <laughs> I guess he uh Fun forward. I'm okay with this. That was brutal. That was awful. Would have never happened to my Rise Longsword. Yeah, we did Yama last night. I guess for you it would have been night. For me it was the day. Ugh. 
it's just so bad, Jurgen. Hey, there's always the VOD squad, I guess. Did I fail Yama? Uh, we carded at least once, if not twice. But I mean, you have to beat Yama to get here, so. My G-Rank playthrough experience so far has been double carding to everything and then being a coward as I sneak out the last 40% of damage necessary. Did I get sucked? I did get sucked at least once, yes. All right, big boy. This way? That's really strange, like, Dual Blades are one of the weapons that I actually really, really liked in Rise. I thought the counter was a lot of fun. I thought the Micro Kunai was annoying, but it was interesting. But I recommend Sword and Shield or Gunlance more in Rise. Gunlance is a ton of fun. Like, Sword and Shield's gonna deal more damage more consistently, but Gunlance is way more fun to play. Like, if you're trying to go for, like, exclusive time records against monsters, that's fine. Go Sword and Shield, but Gunlance is one of the most enjoyable weapons in that game. Just as long as you don't commit to, like, an exclusive playstyle, like, stake only or something like that, that gets very boring. that huh? this monkey has like real moves man we should probably heal shouldn't we I mean, evade distance is really, really, really nice on Gunlance. Like, you can use Blast Dash a little bit, but even then. We're getting him in rage, like we're definitely dealing damage. What's this guy's life, by the way? Is he at like 8,000? No, no! I mean, I don't even know what my coward strats would be. Literally wait out his enrage times. Because he's, he's only killed me with, like, the somersault ability. 
That's the only thing he's killed me with. I haven't died or even really even taken that many hits to anything else. Aren't his, like, capture states different? Like, if he's sparking, can he be pitfall trapped? You'd have to wait for him to be normal. I remember it feeling like it was opposite to normal Rajang. Normal is the pitfall. Yeah. I, I remember it being opposite. I don't know if there's a small... A small Rajang. I kind of want to put a pit pitfall trap down. Texas. That was some damage, right? That was like two full spirit combos. Not a... <laughs> not even mad. Honestly, not, not even upset after that. Like, how can you even be mad? It's impossible. You're gonna kick me from Turbo Copium? I deserve it. I don't think I got that one to 3066 health. If it was at 3066 health, it would be like at nearly capture threshold. So, is it... If I want to be super safe, is the trick then to like... Sheath... After every opportunity of attacking? When he's enraged? I feel like it is. Like, I'm assuming if I timed the evasion to the side correctly and on a smaller one, it wouldn't hit me. How is the uh, name change, B-Sponge? Is everything copacetic in your guild? The food is hello. Hit hit zone duration is really short. I mean, if I could even see it as it's about to hit me. Thanks for helping out the rise category. We're going to be streaming rise later. I hope I hope your name is not stolen from you. Sponge. Make granted dual blades great again? I mean, they're fine though. It's like some people use 
you know, aerial spam and all their TA runs, and everybody's like, oh, I guess I just have to do that too. Like, you don't have to. Like, they do fine damage. Honestly, fine damage on the ground. Still not cut up on my VODs? We've got, a, we've got an okay schedule going. You have to remember, a lot of TA runners aren't necessarily doing their own calculations. A lot of them are just like copying what another person's doing. Doesn't mean it's the best in the world. It just means it's viable. Doesn't mean it's the only viable way to play a weapon. Start. Piercing bind sucks. Piercing bind needs just a longer hitbox because it is it is so easy to whip. I would agree with that all day long. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna treat this like crit draw great sword. Says as he does a full spirit combo. Oh no, I were oh I rolled into it. I could have just stood still and I would have been fine. <sighs> that was actually fine though. That was a good start. That was a good first two minutes. Literally punished. Why do you see nobody playing Rise Lance? Uh, people just don't like streaming Lance. You did call me Chef. Yes, that's fine. I think I think Zebra is done with Rise Lance. I assume he's done with Rise Lance. He was not happy. It's the same thing. Everybody thinks the only viable way to play it is with like the double zoomy attack, which feels horrible to play. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, it's more damage, um, like on a training pull, is it more damage against most monsters? I guess in a TA it is, but it doesn't feel fun to play. Do I think Razor Sharp and High Grade Earplugs are a good low rank set? Um, maybe. Maybe if you have like a Tigrex weapon. I'm not chasing you all the way over there. Double back. Oof. Is this G? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Furious Rodging, I believe, is 
G rank only. Or Golden Run. I think we used to call him Golden Run, right? I have no idea what happened. Put my head down. I don't want to. You got jumped on, but like, does he even do that attack in low rank? Or uh, unenraged? Trample damage seems weirdly low. I don't know if you're saying that ironically or not. It's technically G rank furious. Well, I know he's got enraged AI, but like his spin seems to come out more often when he's enraged, or at least when he's enraged, it seems to does more, do more damage. I don't know. Well, I mean, obviously, when he's in range, he does more damage, but... Why do I hate wearing headphones so much? Um... I mean, do I have to have a reason? Can I just not like it? I thought for a long time I needed to play video games with headphones on my head to hear the sound if I was streaming to play them. And then I found after a while that I didn't need to. Does the band on top will wear down my hairline? Oh, trust me, my genetics are already well at work on that without the head headband helping. It's just having something on my head. I don't know, it's just hearing things. I already have bad enough hearing as it is. My, my audio experience is not the same as yours. That's all I'll say. You like how his landing point is like in the lava? Like that's where he chooses to go. Thank you for aiming at Texas. Do I think he beams in midair to correct his trajectory? Honestly? Probably. Texas is such a lifesaver. I would like to get a pitfall trap down just for the damage. That worked out. Come on, buddy.
You've lost the hearing in your right ear twice because of headphones? That's spooky. That's really spooky. I just don't want to overdo it myself. With my own hearing. Remember, we're one, one cart from death. Okay. That flinch, though. So we'll go through one more cycle of him enraging and we'll get another pitfall trap down. We do want to try and kill him if possible. Murder me. I don't want to, I don't murder Chad, it's the Rajin. Drink your wine and kiss your goat? You want to be an old Italian man? Crying on his little farm? Alright, this is going somewhat according to plan. Was that nice Italian farm? It, it was tiny. Uh, if you bring uh, husk berries and needle berries, you got plenty of light bow gun ammo to kill them. Yeah, redeems are working for some reason. I don't know why they weren't working before, but they're working now. And... 
I would just love to come out of this section of the stream with a, la a long sword upgrade. That's all I want. On their face, like, oh, I got the juiciest one. Squeezing the cuttlefish anus on their face, like, oh, I got the juiciest one. How is it cuttlefish has no cooldown? Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. We get it. I get it. They can gander up my ball. It's coming in four hours. What is possibly debatable about that? Four hours. What time zone? Oh, I would have been listening to them for like an entire day in the fruitas. Well, I'm wearing them that I'm I'm wearing the headphones, B Sponge. I mean that's I mean that's literally more than a hundred damage to your health. That's unbelievable. Excuse me? I don't know if this is enough health. What? My camera was like stuck on a rock. Did you guys see that? Things holding a camera? I don't know. Maybe Yoda from Monster Hunter 1. After they got rid of the press triangle to Yoda button, he got a job as a camera operator. This is terrifying.
This is Child of Destruction. Yep. I forgot my max potions. I rolled into him. Well, I thought he had picked his spot. And apparently... He didn't pick his spot. That move is kind of unfair in Unite. It's a little unfair. I mean, you just have to play a lot more cowardly. All right, well, we've completed... <laughs> we've completed literally one quest for this section of the stream. This is awesome. <laughs> We're going to do the, uh, the rise section of the stream. <laughs> 